Alrighty, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about GrantPad, which is a tablet for the seniors. So in this presentation or webinar, there's five parts. So the first part is going to be an intro where we learn about what GrantPad is. The second part will be the history of GrantPad and its origins. The third part is going to be a tutorial about how to access and use GrantPad. The fourth part is going to be about pricing, and it's going to be about how much GrantPad costs. And the fifth part is just going to be an overview such as the pros and cons, comparisons, and alternatives to GrantPad. So the first part, what is GrantPad? So GrantPad is a simple and secure tablet computer accessible in the US and UK that digitally connects a senior to their family and friends. So it has a senior-friendly layout and users can easily view family photos and videos, play games, see how the weather is, listen to music, check emails, make phone calls, place a video call, and much more. So, so the grant had benefits. So setup is guided by a representative. It's simple and it has a simple and large user interface. So it's handy for those with vision difficulties. It has a remote caregiver with administration tools, preloaded games made to stimulate the mind, sends voice recorded emails so you don't have to type, the help feature connects users with live representatives. It has large digital buttons for navigation, text, and dialing. Its internet access can be limited for user safety. It's small, light, and easy to hold. And it ships with an included charging dock. So on to the history about GrandPad. So the history, so it was founded in 2014 by Scott Wen and his son Isaac Wen. Its headquarters are in Orange County, California. The first GrandPad tablet was launched in January 2015. The GrandPad's mission is to improve the lives of millions of seniors by reconnecting them with their, with their families. So, so the third part is the usage of GrandPad and what, how does one use and access the GrandPad? So pictures, videos, music, emails, apps, and other content shows up on the GrandPad senior tablet automatically 24 hours a day. GrandPad's white glove member support will work with a trusted family member via the GrandPad central admin website to identify content that will show up automatically on a GrandPad. It also comes with a stylus, charging pad, and a protective case. So with the basics, so GrandPad is built with you in mind, is built with seniors in mind. It has no complications, and it's a simple and secure way to stay connected with the people you love to be entertained throughout the day. So it has, so if you, if you can see here in the um, image, it has a home screen. So you can tap an application button to use the feature and apps are managed by your family admin and can be turned on and off for a custom experience. Home screen buttons. So each colored button opens an app that does something different. And so the word new will appear to indicate that there's newly added content. Page instructions. On nearly every screen, you'll see instructions. When in doubt, always check there. So it also has a charging cradle. So that's easy to use easy to use wireless charging station that doubles as a free hands tablet holder. Also has a protective case, which wakes up the screen automatically when it's open and it sends to sleep when closed to preserve battery life. Also has a power button. So when you press and hold the button located on the outer edge, it forces the uh, grand pad to go on and off. It also has enhanced speakers on both sides of the grand pad so it allows for high quality, uh, crisp, clear listening. Uh, how to charge the grand pad? Using the charging cradle. So the first step is to power up the cradle. So you have to use the charging cradle into a standard 120 volt wall outlet. So just your standard uh, wall outlet. So, and then once you plug it in, a small green light will appear on the left side of the charger, indicating that the power is on. And then the next step is to keep your GrandPad charged wirelessly. So you can either do it with a direct cable or you can uh, charge it wirelessly. With You can charge your GrandPad wirelessly. Place your GrandPad 
on the charging cradle facing forward as shown in the picture and it will automatically start charging and a white light turns on to verify that it's charging and the device will charge with the protective cover closed or flipped open. So you place the grand pad on your charging cradle every night and in the morning it will be, it will be fully charged. So how to set up a call. So, so the green button on your grand, uh, grand pad represents a call. So you can talk to other people by voice or video calls. And only your private contacts can reach you, which means no scammers or robocalls. So you have to select the person you would like to call. That's the first step. So you could tap the picture of a person you would like to call. And then, uh, so you, you would tap dial phone number to dial the phone number yourself. Or you could tap the arrows to see more, more contacts. And you can also tap quit call menu to go back to the home screen. And then if you want to choose how would you like to talk, if you wish to see the person as you talk. So video calls are a great way to see the expression and environment of the person you were speaking to. And then you could tap phone call to hear them like a regular telephone call. So tap end call to end the conversation and return to the call menu. So how to access the internet. So this blue button here represents the internet. So you can use the internet to browse, shop, play games, watch videos, or whatever you enjoy from the push of a button. So your first step is to select the site. So you could tap a button to go to that website. So, or you could tap the arrows to see more site. And let's say this uh, website isn't saved, then you can just tap the search button and type a word or phrase to search with Google. So, and then your next step. So if, if you wanna enjoy surfing on the web, You'd use persistent, you'd use the na uh, persistent navigation bar to browse between web pages and adjust the experience. So you would tap the navigation buttons to return to the previous page or quit and return to the site selection page. You also tap down or up to move the page vertically to view more of the website. And you can also adjust the volume and size of text. Uh, with uh, certain, with the buttons on top in case you uh, can't read the text of the website. Here is the GrandPad companion app. So family members can use the uh, free companion app on their smartphone to send pictures and videos, make video calls and stay connected. So it can be used on both iOS and Android devices. The and the family, the family admin uses GrandPad Central to add context to the GrandPad. And for each contact, the family admin can send an invitation through email or a text message to each contact with a unique download link. So the fourth part is pricing. So how much does a grand pad cost? So everything you need is included, including the hardware, the software, the cellular data, and the 24-7 customer care. Uh, so an annual plan is $58 or 72 for um, the UK, and this is uh, per month, so fifty-eight dollars per month. But if, uh, but this is for the entire year. But monthly, if you're paying month per month, it would be an extra twenty-nine dollars, and uh, it would be an extra twenty-nine dollars or uh, thirty-six dollars if you're in the UK, if you're paying month per month. And in the annual one, setup and shipping is included. So here's an overview of the apps that are on the grand pad. So video and phone calls, you need to keep in, so if you need to keep in touch with only those you trust, so you would use this one and it also, uh, uh, it's only trusted contacts. So there's no spam or robo calls. The internet button, which allows you to browse the web safely through managed sites or with full access. There's also a help button, which connects you with a specialist that's happy to answer all of your questions. There's also a games button, which allows you to play over 15 fun and stimulating games developed specifically for the seniors. There's also the email app, which uh, types. So this allows you to type messages and send hassle-free voice recorded messages to loved ones. The camera app allows you to take photos and videos, then share them with your private network. Uh, the toolbox app allows you to use the calculator, flashlight, and magnifying glass in your day to day. The lookup app allows you to search words or topics with, a sim with the simplified dictionary or encyclopedia 
in the grand pad. One of the new apps they have is the Zoom multi-party video calling. So it allows you to connect for parties, community activities, and more. The music app allows you to listen to uh, listen to streaming stations or search for your favorite songs. The photos app allows you to view pictures and videos that are added by your private family network. The radio app allows you to turn into AM slash FM music, talk, and sports station from anywhere. The weather app allows you to see weather forecasts for your location and your contacts locations. The moods app allows you to watch and listen uh, relaxing videos of nature, animals, seasons, and more. And the articles app allows you to read curated articles ranging in many topics and interests. So if you have any questions about the grant pad, you can always contact uh, these toll-free numbers, uh, depending on your location. And then uh, the fifth part of this presentation is the overview. So the pros and cons, comparisons, and alternatives to the grant pad. So some of the pros of the grant pad. So it's, it's, it has a senior-friendly layout, and it's easy to use. It's accessible apps for calls, emails, photos, music, news, and games. There's also no spam, robocalls, or other unwanted email messages. It's easy to use with simple navigation, colorful buttons, and large fonts. And they also have a live support that is 24-7 to answer questions. So some of the cons of GrandPad, it's only available in a few select countries like the US, Ireland, and the UK. You could call them at 800-704-9412 if you want to discuss available options to purchase outside of these countries, it's pricey and it doesn't have a legit web browser and mainly focuses on keeping in touch with other people rather than internet usage. So the GrandPad versus the iPad. The Apple iPad was designed with a user interface for people from 10 years old to 65 years old who have experience using smartphones and or computers. So many older adults who, who have never used a computer may find the iPad confusing with pop-up alerts, Apple IDs, passwords, or just getting lost in the, in the settings for notifications, for notifications, control center, iCloud, Wi-Fi, et cetera. GrandPad comes with setup and ready to go with no configuration options, except for the big volume keys for music. So why are tablets helpful for seniors? Tablets can be very helpful, very useful for seniors who are less proficient in technology since the larger screen of a tablet presents the user with an easier reading experience, a larger surface area for touch engagement, and increased immersion in displayed content while still having the same general capabilities as the average smartphone, like support for onboard data and voice plans. So some alternative tablets for seniors so for, so these are some alternative tablet options for seniors that are not in the US and UK. So the first one is the Amazon Fire 7. This is the best tablet under $100 for seniors. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A, which has the best budget Samsung tablet for seniors. And the Apple, Apple iPad Mini 2, which is the more, most affordable Apple tablet. Uh, the Apple iPad Pro, it's simple to use, it has a crisp display, and it's, it's easily portable. The Microsoft Surface Pro, it's a laptop experience and it's also portable. And the Lenovo Tab uh, 4 is the best tablet with, Alexa with the Alexa Voice Assistant. So now we're going to go on to a live demo of GrandPad. So this is the GrandPad website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on product details and we're just going to look at the GrandPad overview. So we're going to watch this uh, five minute video real quick about the GrandPad. Ready? So that's the video. There's also more stuff here. So it tells you like what's included, which was, which it also said in the video. So this is kind of like a basically like a gun down of the video. And there's also pricing here. And we'll go. Uh, We'll go over that later. So now we're gonna go on. Um, so they also have an FAQ section. So if you wanna do some more research about the grandpad, 
you can just go here and uh, you can check out any of the FAQ sections. So, they, so for example, let's say if you want to see if the grant pack can replace your cell phone, uh, it's a very common question and you can just click and uh, they answer the question for you. So the grant pad lets families communicate via voice and video calls, but it does not have the ability to connect to 911. So calls to 911 should be made with the phone. And we also, they also have demos for um, the grant pad. They have demo webinars. So you can attend any of these uh, ones if you want to. And it'll tell you like what they cover and they have uh, customer reviews. And you can also add your email if you wanna be updated. And so now we'll go on to um, buying a uh, grant pad. So the purchasing process. So the first step which they ask is, they ask if you're buying it for someone else or yourself. So let's just say I'm buying it for myself. So I would select uh, myself. Then I would have to uh, put in um, all my information and then once I put in all my information, uh, you would have to continue to shipping, which is just more uh, information. So you just have to put in all of your information to purchase the grant pad. And that's pretty much it for the uh, live demo.